Hello everyone. In this presentation, you are going to learn about protapus system. Cleaning and shaping of the root canal system is considered to be one of the most important steps in doing root canal treatment. This is the step by which we clean, shape, disinfect and make the root canal system free of all microorganisms. Without no doubt, we can say that it is a very important step. But how are we going to achieve this cleaning and shaping in a very easy manner? That is what the protaper system comes handy and it will come to save a lot of time and it will provide us a simplified, at the same time, a very efficient system for cleaning and shaping the root canals. There are so many other systems which were introduced before and after protaper systems but still why protaper is very popular and still accepted and used by numerous dentists throughout the world is because of its simplicity and its efficiency this will be a basic presentation in which you will understand what are the different files what lengths they are available what are the tip sizes and what's the sequence of using this files for cleaning and shaping I am Dr. Benin and if you like this presentation, like this presentation and also subscribe to my YouTube channel Smart Dentistry. I will make more videos that will be helpful for dentists and dental students. Protaper system comes with basically six files. They are SX, S1, S2, F1, F2 and F3. There are two accessory files which are F4 and F5 and in this presentation we are not going to see in detail about F4 and F5. So these six files are the basic instruments in protaper system. These instruments are available in two lengths. They are 21 millimeter and 25 millimeter. There is a different length of 31 millimeter instruments available which are occasionally used for extremely long rooted tooth like a maxillary canine but in most circumstances this 21 and or 25 millimeter instruments are adequate there are six files in this instrument set for a purpose the first three instruments starts with yes and they are called the shaping instruments the last three instruments starts with F and they are called the finishing instruments. Compared to other systems, this is so simplified because all other systems were indicating and telling the dentist to fo follow the tip sizes or the tapers or some complicated systems. But this pro taper system says that you have to just use the first instrument followed by the second, third, fourth, fifth and the sixth instrument and your cleaning and shaping will be complete. So this is such a simple system even for a beginner to follow. So what's the sequence of using? First we have to use SX followed by S1, followed by S2, followed by F1, F2 and F3 depending upon the requirements. Except for the first instrument that SX all other instruments have to be introduced till the complete working length of the tooth. So let's see a little more into the details of this. The protaper system are marketed in widely into two types. They are the protaper universal or can be called as the older type of protaper and the protaper gold may be the newer type. So what's the basic difference between the protaper universal and protaper gold is the protaper universal is made of arsenitic alloys and the protaper gold is made of the shape memory alloys or we can say that control memory alloys. So what's the basic difference? The metallurgy is different. So what about the applications? Maybe compared to the protaper universal, protaper gold is more flexible and it can be applied and it can be used in more curved root canals and maybe for a little more efficient flexibility with the instruments. Protaper universal still remains as a gold standard instrument to which all other instruments are even compared today. 
Let's see a little about each of these files in detail. The first instrument, SX, also called as Shaper X, is used in the coronal one third of the root canals. So that will enlarge the root canal orifice and it will provide an easy accessibility and entry and also straight line access to the remaining files which are to be introduced in a later stage. To identify this instrument, this is the shortest of all the protoper files. All other instruments are 21 millimeters or 25 or even 31 millimeter, but SX is always 19 millimeter and it is the shortest. To identify this instrument, there will be no identification ring in the handle of the instrument. The next instrument is S1. The S1 of the file is designed in such a manner that the flutes or the file will prepare only the coronal one third. Yes, X have enlarged the orifice and yes, one will enlarge only the coronal third of the root canal system. But you have to understand that yes, X need not have to be introduced till the working length. But from S1 onwards, all the remaining files have to be introduced till the working length. So S1 even though it is introduced till the working length, it will prepare and enlarge only the coronal one-third of the root canal system, followed by S2 or the Shaper 2. The Shaper 2 will enlarge and prepare the middle third of the canal. So the coronal one-third is prepared by S1 and the middle third will be prepared by S2. Again, S2 also have to be introduced till the full length, that is, till the determined working length. After using S2, we have to use F1 or the finisher file 1. This file uh, will prepare the apical one-third of the root canal system. So, this is the first file which is going to prepare and enlarge the apical third of the canal. So, just if, you, if uh, the preparation is adequate and if you are able to get a good tuck back by verifying the apical size, we can finish cleaning and shaping with F1. But most of the canals, which are especially in case of ink patients, we may have to go till F2. The F2 also enlarges the apical one third. The coronal one third is prepared by S1, the middle third is prepared by S2, and the apical third is already enlarged by F1 and now you are enlarging to F2. And if you are going to get an adequate tuck back with a F2 gutta percha cone, then we can finish cleaning and shaping. Otherwise, we may have to proceed to F3, which will provide more preparation. So now it's the time to understand the tip sizes of each and every files. The shaper files, it is not essential for a beginner to know the tip sizes and the tapers. The F1 which has a yellow identification ring and a yellow color stopper has a tip size of 20 or 0 0.20 millimeters. So F1 and SX have a yellow color stopper but there will be no band in SX but the F1 will have a yellow color band or the identification ring in the handle. S1 has a purple color band and also a stopper. S2 has a white color band and a white color stopper. F2 has a red color band and a red color stopper. And F3 has a blue color stopper and a blue color band. So as I already mentioned, F1 has a tip size of 0.20 mm or size 20. According to the ISO color coding, 20 has a yellow color. So F1 matches 20 and it has a yellow color coding. And F2 has a tip size of 0.25 millimeter or 25 ISO size. And according to ISO standardization, red color is the color which is allotted for 25. So F2 with a tip size 25 has a red color. And the 30 automatically denotes 
size 30 which is the f3 and which has a yellow uh, sorry which has a blue color band and a blue color identification ring the taper of this instrument also varies again for a beginner it is not needed to know the taper of sx s1 and s2 but f1 in the apical 3 to 4 millimeter has a taper of 7 percentage and f2 has a apical taper of 8 percentage and f3 has a apical taper of 9 percentage so f1 7 f2 8 and f3 9 percentage and how are we going to use this so sx need not have to be introduced till the full working length and it will enlarge the root canal orifice so which is sx and after using sx we have to use s1 s1 will prepare the coronal one third and it has a purple color coding so in this diagrammatic representation we can see the orifice was enlarged by sx and the coronal one third was enlarged by s1 and after enlargement by s1 we have to introduce s2 and s2 will prepare the middle third of the canal and the middle third and the coronal thirds are now prepared and after that we have to introduce the finishing file f1 which will prepare and enlarge the apex to a size of 20 and if this is adequate in some cases like uh, the mesiobuccal and the mesiolingual canals of a old age patient of a mandibular first molar maybe f1 will be adequate we, the preparation will be sufficient but in many other cases we may have to go for f2 which has a tip size of 25 and maybe for the young patients the mesiobuccal and mesiolingual canals of a mandibular first molar or the mesiobuccal and the distobuccal canals of a maxillary molar or if there are two canals in a maxillary first premolar or a second premolar we can enlarge up to f2 and if this preparation is inadequate we may have to go for f3 which will provide an apical enlargement of size 30. once these preparations are complete we have to verify with the help of a master cone so a corresponding size master cone have to be used to verify the size and if you are getting a adequate tuck back then we are good to go with obturation. So as I mentioned protaper system is very very important and from a beginner perspective protaper system is really helpful a easy to understand and easy to follow system for doing cleaning and shaping. So in this part I have covered the basics of the protaper system. In the next part I will explain about the clinical technique and how to use this protaper system, what speed it has to be used, what torque it has to be used, what is a glide path, how to prepare, how to negotiate a canal, then we have to use the system and maybe we will see a little about what are the reasons that a file which gets separated inside the root canal system and how to prevent all those things and maybe in the coming sessions we will talk more about obturating the canals with this after preparing with protaper system so thank you and this is it let this be a small presentation but i hope that this will be a useful presentation for each and every one of you stay tuned i will come with another better presentation and we will learn more about this system and the art of doing root canal treatment thank you for watching have a nice day